for watching Channel Y. Channel Y, a South Asian Canadian channel. Hi, my name is Paul Sharma. I'm the Mass Program Vaccination Co-Lead, and I'm very excited that everybody is here. We're at, um, in the region of Peel, we're at International Centre where we're doing Doses After Dark. This is our uh, exciting event where we're doing 32 hours straight of mass vaccination. Uh, we're really happy that our community had the opportunity. Sure, so, so, so in our clinic today, um, we are either giving Moderna or Pfizer. Those are the vaccines throughout the 32 hours that people will get. And you know, as I've mentioned on our uh, programs that I've been on, all the vaccines are safe and approved by Health Canada, and they will actually prevent you from getting hospitalization or death of COVID. Sure, so actually when you get your first dose of vaccine, it doesn't mean that you know we can go back to normal society. Right now, you've been vaccinated. It takes a couple of weeks for you to get develop the immunity. You may develop some side effects and we will ask you to monitor them where you may have a little bit of soreness, a little bit of fever, um, and a little bit of pain, but monitor that. And if it, anything is, you know, excruciating, go see your doctor. But also too, until we have most of our population vaccinated, and we're hoping that we have 75% of the people in the region of Peel, that will actually give us some herd immunity, and then we don't have to do these public health measures. But right now, once you even get vaccinated, you need to still follow the public health measures of wearing masks, physical distancing, staying at home, and washing your hands. Yeah, so Doses After Dark tonight is for anybody that lives or works in Peel. Um, and, and this is where we're very excited. So it doesn't mean that you have to be in a hot spot. Anybody 18 plus in the region of Peel, if you live or work. And we're, this is really tailored to our community looking for extended hours. And as I mentioned, we're going overnight. So this will actually help some of the people who are working in manufacturing industry, they're in shift work, truck drivers, taxi drivers, and people who just can't get to the clinic. And if you're up late at night, why not book an appointment and come get vaccinated? Okay, so as Dr. Lowe, our medical officer, has said that we want to get 75% of our population vaccinated by May. And right now we're on track with that. We've had 53% of our population, which is almost 800,000 of the eligible population. So we are heading in the right direction, but we know these last 10, 15% are going to be the most difficult because there are there is some hesitancy and people have questions but we are here to answer your question. Sure. Yeah, I know a lot of our population did get, and our community did get AstraZeneca. My mom got AstraZeneca. Um, and at that time, AstraZeneca, you know, was the right uh, vaccine to take. And, you know, the government has actually taken some precautions of by pausing it. And, you know, so they're looking at the evidence, but the government is looking at, you know, what is going to be the second dose of vaccine. So will it be AstraZeneca or will they actually give uh, an mRNA, which is either Pfizer or Moderna? So we are actually waiting for provincial direction. What I can tell is our community is no matter what, when it is your turn to get the second dose, we will give you the right vaccine. It may be AstraZeneca, it may be Pfizer and Moderna, but you will get your second vaccine. Yeah, so I know when we initially rolled out our mass vaccination program, there was the interval of 21 to 28 or 35 days, but that was the minimal interval to get your vaccine. So when you get your first vaccine, you're actually getting, um, your, your immunity is priming up to that. And when you get your second dose, it is the uh, booster shot. So what, um, so it actually enhances your, your, your immunity. So what the government of Canada had done with the Ontario government was, instead of having a small segment of the population getting the first and second doses, they actually took the approach of having everybody get their first dose as quickly as possible. They did that in the UK, they did that in Australia, and they're doing that in India now as well too. What is happening now is we are seeing more vaccines coming into our system, and we're optimistic that the uh, uh, Ontario government will actually reduce the interval, and hopefully people will get their second vaccine much sooner than the four month interval. Yeah, so the, the last thing I want to add is we have Doses After Dark. This is a very exciting uh, event and we're hoping everybody in our community can come out and get vaccinated. We do have appointments from 1 a.m. to 7 a.m. Uh, there is a lot of availability. So please book on our peelregion.ca forward slash COVID-19 vaccine website or you can call 905-791-5002 to book your appointment. You are watching Channel Y. Channel Y. A South Asian Canadian channel.